So my name's Harrison Carter. I'm a doctor in St Thomas's Hospital in London. And I also uh, have been the co-chair of the UK Medical Students Committee at the British Medical Association. So I started with Sheffield Futures in 2009. I was elected to the UK Youth Parliament representing Sheffield. The elections took place at the schools across the city and I was uh, at Meadowhead School um, in the south of the city. And I stood for election and was elected and then was elected a second time, so spent three years working for the young people of Sheffield um, at Sheffield Futures. One of the important skills that you can learn from being a part of the Youth Parliament and within Sheffield Futures that they will help you to develop is about leadership, about taking forward campaigns and projects that you're most passionate about. I remember when I was in the Youth Parliament and I wanted to talk to uh, the Prime Minister at the time, who was uh, Gordon Brown, about political education. And I took it upon myself to call Downing Street switchboard and was offered an opportunity to meet Gordon Brown at number 10 Downing Street to talk about this project, about the need for compulsory political education for young people. And then when David Cameron became Prime Minister and we were really, really interested in the big society and about how the big society can, can work for local people and can help young people contribute, we were also able then to go to number 10 once more and to talk to David Cameron about the work of Sheffield Futures. And the, the really important point here is that Sheffield Futures then uh, got um, a bit of their blurb about what they do and about the campaigns that we ran here into some of the really important government documents. The youth strategy that the Department for Education published, Sheffield Futures was featured in that. One of the Home Office strategies looking at antisocial behaviour, Sheffield Futures was once again featured in that. We had the Deputy Prime Minister at the time, Nick Clegg, come and talk to us here because of, uh, he'd heard the work that we'd been trying to do here. So you really can influence lots of different people and the people that are really making the most important decisions. And one of the, the, the links about leadership is now I do work in the United States uh, where I work with people who worked with President Obama in his administration, some of his healthcare reform advisors, looking at how we can think about patient safety in the US and also bring that back to thinking about patient safety in the UK. So the sky is really the limit. And if this is just the starting point for you, I would really say jump on board, really think about what you want to do for the people in this city and just go for it. What's quite special is the UK Youth Parliament is a national voice mm. and so they recognise that as a national voice. But what the great thing about it being embedded in an organisation like Sheffield Futures is that it's a national voice with really local context. So you can really share the national picture with the national decision makers but you also have really important information and really important evidence from the local people of Sheffield. So they were really listening to what we had to say.